the training lesson on the employment of unguided bombs using CCIP and CCRP master modes. I've engaged the autopilot to maintain altitude and heading. Pay attention to the airspeed and manage the throttle to stay above 200 knots throughout this mission. Set the TAD range to 40 nautical miles. To do this, first make the TAD soy by pressing OSB 15, and then press the hold TAD's DMIS down command or the end key on the keyboard three times. Now change the HUD back to SOY by pressing the HOME TAS we had UP command or the U key on the keyboard. The A-10C can be armed with Mark 82 500 pound and Mark 84 2000 pound low drag general purpose LDGP free fall bombs. In addition, the Mark 82 air high drag version of the basic Mark 82 is available for retarded delivery at low altitudes. Finally, the CBU-87 Combined Effects Munitions CEM Cluster Bomb is available for use against lightly armored area targets, such as concentrations of vehicles. Let's open the DSMS page now with OSB-14 to review our payload for this flight. We are carrying six Mark 82s loaded on triple ejector racks here on stations 3 and 9, and four Mark 82 airs on stations 4, 5, 7, and 8. Press OSB-1 to enter the profile main page. Now press OSB 19 to select the Mark 82 profile, and then press OSB 3 to enter the profile control page. Press OSB 6 to set the release mode to PRX, pairs. With this setting, each press of the weapon's release button will unload a single Mark 82 from each of the tier stations on both sides of the aircraft. Once the release mode is set to pairs, press OSB 16 to enter the profile settings page. On the Profile Settings page, OSB-20 is used to select the safe escape maneuver, SIM, currently set to CLM, Climb. It's important to remember that when the mission starts on the ground, either a cold start on the ramp or a hot start on the runway, the default SIM will usually be set to none. In that case, you will not be able to get a valid CCIP solution. You should set the SIM to either CLM, TRN, Turn, or TLT, Turn Level Turn, prior to entering the combat area. The Profile Settings page also allows you to set the bomb desired time of fall, DESTOF, with OSB-19, and minimum release altitude, MINALT, with OSB-18. These settings will determine the positions of the minimum range staple, MRS, and desired release cue, DRC, of the CCIP solution. We'll have a chance to view these indications in a few minutes. Press the space bar key to proceed to the next step. Let's set the minimum release altitude to 1,500 feet. To do this, first enter 1500 into the UFC scratch pad. Then press OSB 18 to store the value in the DSMS. Press OSB 3 to save the changes to this profile. Let's now configure the Mark 82 errors by pressing OSB 19 to select the MK82 AHI profile and then press OSB 3 to enter the profile control page. We'll make a number of changes to this profile. Press OSB 6 to set the release mode to Ripple Single. This will release the bombs individually in sequence. Set the ripple quantity to 2 by entering 2 into the UFC scratch pad, followed by OSB 8. Press OSB 10 to change the HUD mode for this profile to CCRP. Note that the default fuse setting for NT, nose tail, on OSB 7 will result in a deployed shoot for a high drag delivery. Leave this setting as is so we can try a high drag CCRP delivery from low altitude. To release the Mark 82 Air as a low drag bomb, you would change the fuse setting to nose. Also note the impact interval setting of 75 feet on OSB 9, which you can change by entering a different value through the UFC. Press OSB 16 to enter the profile settings page. Set the minimum release altitude to 200 feet by entering 200 into the UFC scratch pad, followed by OSB 18. Press OSB 3 to save the changes to this profile. Press OSB 1 to return to the DSMS status page. Set the master arm on the AHC panel to train by right-clicking the switch twice. Bombs are deployed using either CCIP, Continuously Computed Impact Point, or CCRP, Continuously Computed Release Point HUD modes. Put plainly, CCIP indicates the calculated point of the bomb impact on the ground, while CCRP indicates a desired weapon release point in the air. Of the two modes, CCIP is the most straightforward, requiring only for the pilot to place the pipper on the target and pickle the weapon. 
However, CCIP is also problematic in that it requires a significant dive angle for the reticle to become visible on the HUD. This brings you closer to the enemy and, often just as deadly, the ground. To begin working with CCIP, select the Mark 82 profile by pressing the Select Down Rocker key on the UFC. Alternatively, you can press the Hold Task Demon's Right Command or Page Down key on the keyboard. CCIP indication is now visible on the HUD as a dashed line, called a Projected Bomb Impact Line, PBIL. Dashed indication means the Pipper is below the HUD field of view. To see the reticle with Pipper, we'll perform a dive in a minute. Before we try this, let's review some of the important elements of CCIP indication. You may want to have the flight manual open to reference CCIP illustrations. Press the spacebar key to proceed when ready. The PBIL is a theoretical prediction of Pipper track along the ground under current flight parameters. A convenient way to bring the Pipper on target is to run the target down the PBIL. The aiming reticle includes at least level out. If you wish, you can try a couple more dry runs using CCIP, but you will need to recover some altitude first. Press the spacebar key when you are ready to proceed to the next lesson topic. Next, we will consider CCIPCR, Consent to Release Mode. Maintain heading for Waypoint 2, MSN 002. Climb to 6,000 feet and maintain airspeed above 200 knots. Autopilot is on. To overcome some of the limitations of CCIP mode, the A10C features two CCIP CR consent to release modes. In CR mode, the CCIP reticle is always visible on the HUD, whereas in standard CCIP, the reticle disappears out of view when the impact point is below the HUD. In CR mode, it remains dashed and latched to the bottom of the HUD. This allows you to designate a target by placing the pipper over it and perform the attack by pressing down and holding the weapons release button. Doing so adds indication to the HUD to guide you to the desired weapons release point. Weapons are released automatically as you pass the release point as long as the weapon release button is held down. CR mode comes in two flavors, 3.9 and 5 mil. We'll try using 3.9 mode as it allows more error in the delivery. CR modes are enabled in the IFC test menu. Right click the IFC switch on the AHCP once to set it to test. Press the UFC data rocker key to change the CCIP consent OPT option from off to 3.9. Now set the IFC switch back to on by left clicking the IFC switch once. Press the HOTAS master mode button or M key on the keyboard to return the HUD to CCIP mode. Note the 3.9 indication on the HUD is the weapon release mode. I will now disengage the autopilot so you can practice using CR mode. To see CCIP CR indication on the HUD, take the nose down about 5 degrees. Dashed CCIP indication is now visible on the HUD with the reticle latched to the bottom. You can press right control plus right shift plus numpad A to shift your view up to better see the reticle. Place the pipper over a desired target point and press and hold the weapon release button to see the CR post designate indication. The indication is now solid. An as steering line, ASL, with the 5 mil solution cue and time to release numeric TTRM is added to the HUD. Fly the aircraft so the P bill and ASL remain aligned. As you approach the target, the TTRM will begin the countdown to release and the solution cue will move down the HUD. Your objective is to fly the aircraft so that the solution Q runs down the P-bill and passes through the center of the CCIP reticle. You can now continue to practice targeting using CCIP CR mode. Press the space bar key when you are ready to proceed to the next topic. CCIP CR 5 mil mode functions identically to 3.9 mode, except that the weapons are released only if the CCIP reticle pipper passes directly through the 5 mil solution Q. Next, We'll take a look at CCRP mode. Select the MK82 AHI profile by pressing the HOTAS Demus right command or the page down key on the keyboard. Press the HOTAS master mode button or M key on the keyboard to select CCRP mode. CCRP indication is much like CCIP CR post designate, with the ASL and 5 mil solution cue providing aiming cues. 
toward the desired weapon release point for the target. The difference is that in CCRP mode, the target is marked by a sensor point of entry speed using any of the available sensors. We'll try using the HUD to designate a speed using the target designation cue, TDC. Press the space bar key to proceed when ready. Hold the hold tab sloop control down or the period key on the keyboard to slew the HUD TDC down to the highlighted box on the HUD. Designate this point as the speed by holding down the hold test team as up command or left control plus up arrow keys on the keyboard. CCRP indication is now visible on the HUD with the familiar azimuth steering line and 5 mil solution cue. As you approach the target, the solution cue and TTRN timer will move down the ASL and the weapons will release as they pass through the CCRP reticle while the weapons release button is held down. Because we set up the MK82 AHI profile for a high drag delivery, the release point will be virtually above the target in this case. You can try designating other speed locations if you wish. Press the space bar key to proceed to the next topic. We'll now fly into the weapons range to drop some live organs. Hold down the Hotel's T with down command or left control plus down arrow keys on the keyboard to reset the speed to the steer point. Set the master arm to on by left clicking the switch twice. Press the hold test demons up command or home key on the keyboard to set your steer point for waypoint 3, range. Navigate to the weapon's range. You will want to gain some altitude to practice CCIP runs. The weapon's range is set up with a number of target arrays. Practice dropping Mark 82s and Mark 82 errors in CCIP, CCIP CR, and CCRP modes. Remember, we set the Mark 82 air profile for a high drag delivery so you can use CCRP mode to designate the target with the HUD TDC and deliver the bombs at low altitude and level flight. You are approaching the weapons range. In general, it's best to keep the target at your 10 or 2 o'clock position as you approach. This allows you to keep your eyes on the target to better time your roll in for the dive. This concludes the training portion of the flight. Targets are now marked with red smoke and you are cleared in. Pull up! Pull up! Nice bombs. Good hits on those targets. Nice run.
Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Got some 